Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is KPZ. You are here in the home of the Slightly Above Average Ship Review. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, I've already got some of those early access Italian destroyers and put some videos in the can. Hopefully I've already started making my beginner's guide or average player's guide to battleships. But you can watch the other Monarch match. Last week we had a brawling game in the Monarch. And we're here on Neighbors, and we're going to have a ranged build game in the Monarch. Honestly, I think the ranged build is the way to go for a couple of reasons. Primarily because the Sigma of the Monarch is not that great, and it's 1.8. So you want to plus that up with your Accuracy Commander. But that being said, I'm probably going to leave Madden in mind. <laughs> But if you don't have Lion, uh, I would try both commanders, see which one works for you. All right, we're start off by shooting some HE at the Bismarck. I don't think I intentionally shot a HE. I think that's just what was ever was left in the gun barrel from the last game when I started this one. Uh, we've got a fully maxed Cunningham behind the wheel here, so hopefully we can Get some shots out on that mine CE. Everybody, please shoot the mine CE. He is starting to bow in, so I had to adjust my aim there. That, in theory, should be somebody else's problem. Although we did get a hit there, but he is not giving us an ideal angle at all. And I don't know if uh, a lot of other people can shoot at him. So we are going to continue to shoot at the Mine Sea because I think it is simply one of the most powerful ships in the game and if left unchecked it can do a lot of damage. Alright, again that left a little bit to be desired. What did I see in that quick clip when I drew back? One of my teammates is advancing as fast as he can towards the enemy team. I hate to say I think this is a really bad idea. Just like shooting at a mines behind island covers probably a really bad idea. Yeah, that guy right there. Turn around, dude. You're getting shot at by everybody. Alright, speaking of being stupid, I'm going to continue to stupidly try and mine the spines for damage, and I shouldn't have done that. And maybe if I had helped this guy who's charging at the enemy team a little bit, maybe. Uh, he would have lived a little longer. He just, you know, I'm dumb. I do dumb stuff. All right, here's the shores. Giving us some of that sweet broadside. We're going to take it. I put up my fighter plane after the fact. Probably won't help that shell grouping, but we did get a couple of good hits there. And now we're just using front turrets only. Now the battleship is giving full broadside to the enemy team. What on earth is he thinking? Well, he did hit the shores pretty hard. And he didn't take out the shores, but we will kill Pinch. The shores right there for the first blood battle. Look at all those torpedoes. That guy clearly shouldn't have done that. Kiev over here launched all the torps, and that guy is dead. He's begging for help. No one is close enough to help you, guy. You are dead. Because you advanced way too far towards the enemy team. All right, more shots at the mines. I, I'm sorry, I just don't feel sorry for that guy. And we get uh, another green cap defended flag. This guy's just getting frittered to death. He messed up, what can I say? All right, several of the red team is over here. We're over here. And who is that? A Bismarck? We're going to shoot at the Bismarck. I'm really not too worried about the Kiev and the mines. I'm not too worried about either, although I will continue to shoot at him to keep him honest. Initially, I was like, hey, let's back up. I got a cap defended flag on the mines. I just keep doing this all day. You know, uh, I have a significant number of ships to the starboard side and behind me. Uh, Bismarck not necessarily giving me a great angle here again. So we're just kind of shooting up there. 
However, the mines has gone dark, so I can't shoot at the mines. And the King George, which is the ship design that begat this ship design, uh, is coming towards us somewhat. So I decide to switch my aim to the KGV. Going up a little bit above the waterline again, still looking for the mines, still can't find them. I think the King George is shooting HE at me. Our return fire didn't do a whole lot to the King George. There's the mines. We'll take one last shot. But he is well on the other side of the island and I can't do anything. And we're going to continue to shoot at the King George. And not do a ton of damage there either. We're approaching 50,000 damage. And while it is tempting to shoot at the mines, I am going to keep shooting at the King George. Altering my aim a little bit slower. We did engage one of our heals. And that salvo finally did some meaningful damage to the King George. We'll continue to shoot our rear turret towards the mines. And nobody else is really shooting at me besides the King George right now, so I kind of have the luxury to focus on him. Another really nice chunk of damage there with our armor piercing. And continuing to throw pot shots at the mines. And can we finish off King George? There goes the salvo. No. It appears our aim was way off. Alright, the mines is now angry at me because I've been spamming them all game. And the Baltimore is shooting at me, and we've still got the King George. Giving us a delicious sampling of broadside. And because we did not aim low enough in the waterline, we did not kill him rear turret and we don't get the kill there but we did do a fair amount of damage over the lifetime of king george we're now up to eighty thousand damage all right what's over here got the bismarck still not really paying attention to me got the baltimore ran behind an island and did we got the mines and then there's one other ship mines is in the middle so we'll shoot at the bismarck and we launched our spotter plane to help improve some of the abysmal shell grouping of the ship. The Bismarck eats a torpedo or two. And the Baltimore is still hiding behind the rock. Uh, Bismarck almost dead. We will needlessly fire our front turrets out of any guys. So we got Baltimore, we got mines way over there, and we've got... An unknown other ship somewhere over the rainbow. All right, Mines is running away. We will just aim up there and hope he drives into that. Baltimore over here, I believe I'm going to start focusing on. Because uh, the Mines ran away and I don't know where the other ship is. All right, we're turning in here so I don't get the cap reset on me, which I don't want. Turning to get my turrets on target. Salvo number one at the Baltimore. We do a little bit of landscaping there, but we are in full reverse. There's a good hit on the Baltimore. So the accuracy commander does kind of tame the Sigma a little bit, I think, in this ship. That being said, I'm still not convinced the uh, survivability commander isn't a better choice. Now we're getting shot at by mines and Baltimore at the same time. Next salvo on Baltimore doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We're just ignoring mines at this point. And continuing to try to farm damage. Another salvo out there. Baltimore. 
who appear to be turning in, and those don't really do anything. Oh, there's the last ship. Mines has not given us any kind of an angle, so we're going to ignore the mines. And we are going to aim a little bit better here, Baltimore that time, hopefully. And we're going to move forward a little bit, maybe hopefully throw the mines off. Oh, I thought that was a good salvo when I let it go. And um, maybe one more salvo here before I die. Returning. Uh, can I get a shot out at mines? Maybe. And we got set on fire. We're going to damage con that immediately. The ship is on fire. Have to. Switching sides here. So our rear turrets got to come all the way around. The front turrets are just turning in the front. Solved, sir. And the Baltimore gets killed. Desperately trying to get the turrets back around on the mines. We get set on fire again. So we probably are not going to get the kill here. I don't think so. There is a salvo out on the mines. And I'm expecting to be dead. Very shortly. And there we are. We're dead. So... I don't know. I mean, I would love to hear your comments. Do you think the Accuracy Commander is the right commander for the Monarch? Or do you think the Survivability Commander is the right commander for the Monarch? Or are you someone who colors outside the lines and you think maybe the, uh, the uh, General Commander, the Base Commander, Mr. Jellico, maybe you think the Base Commander is the right commander for the Monarch? Let me know in the comments. All right, here we are on my favorite screen, the victory screen. Bunch of milestones here for what I'm not really sure. But I need that steel. All right, we ended up with the first blood medal, 105,245. Total damage, one kill, three cap defended flags, and a solo base cap. We ended up with 664,995 silver, 4937 ship XP, 12,531 commander XP, and a bunch of progress ribbons, as you can see and saw there. So all in all, I think it was an okay match. There we are at the top of the board, 2531 base XP, one medal, one big kill, I guess, leading the way for our team uh, in this uh, domination match. So, that uh, was the other way you can play the Monarch. Less, uh, more base XP than last time. Less damage than the survivability game. We didn't survive the match in either of the games, so your mileage may vary. All right, here are the upgrades again. Aiming System Mod 1. Damage Control System Mod 2. Concealment System Mod 1 and Main Battery Mod 3. In terms of the loadout, two charges of the Repair Party. It appears to be a greater heal. Four charges of the Spotter Plane. I really recommend it for this ship with this commander to tighten up that shell grouping. And uh, maybe that'll make the difference. We're running the Epic Commander Flag, Global Flag, credit flag and battle booster flags during that match we've got the type 9 permanent camouflage and the friendship day 21 flag taking a look at the stats 53,900 hit points 22 percent torpedo damage reduction with our build those three by three 381 millimeter turrets 19.3 kilometer firing range 21.2 second reload, 39.1 second turn time, HE shells 6300 max damage with a 35% fire chance, AP shells 11,900 max damage. The secondaries didn't change from the previous video, nor are they any different from any other high tier British battleship secondaries. 6.7 second reload, 1900 HE shell damage, 
8% fire chance, and 5.2 kilometer range. All right, moving on to what I consider is a weakness of the Monarch, the AA defense, your main battery, or your secondaries, pardon me, are dual purpose and do count as AA, but this is very weak AA in my opinion, and you can be easily neutralized by a aircraft carrier commander. So hope you don't get one in your match because this ship is pretty much this AA at this tier is a sitting duck. All right, max speed 28.8 knots, 790 meter turning circle, 22 second rudder shift time, which is abysmal for this ship. And concealment, 13 on the surface, 10.9 for the air, 13.9 when firing in smoke. I think I'm going to skip the arm review and the staff because we talked about that last time. All right, here's the commander, Andrew Cunningham. You can see we've got a ranged build here, including D. Ravel and Azer Lane, New Jersey as our inspirations. Anyway, other than that, it is a standard range build with the exception of row two, crisscross instead of gyrating drill bits. So I don't want to affect the speed of the ship. Um, but yeah, I, I would just really like to hear what you guys think. Is the Monarch meant for a brawling build with Madden or is it meant for a range build with Cunningham? You got that really below water Citadel. Your Sigma isn't that great. That makes me think, hey, maybe this is meant for a brawling commander. But on the other hand, when you build it for range, it doesn't do terrible. You know, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had success in this ship and with what commander. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you stick around in the upcoming weeks for the new content. And I will see you in the next video, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe for more Slightly Above Average Ship Reviews.